So here we are, we're walking down. Oh, I see a shamrock. We sell Irish products. It's still there. I see Tater. I'm gonna go inside and we'll see what I can get. I wanna make you shake, make you sweat, make you uh, uh. I wanna make you move, make you groove, make you uh, uh. I wanna make you shake, make you sweat, make you uh, uh. I wanna make you move, make you groove, make you uh, uh. I wanna make you shake, make you sweat, make you uh, uh. I wanna make you move, make you groove, make you uh, uh. It's been some years since we have been in Woodside and the reason that we know it quite well is because way back in the day it was a really strong Irish enclave. Now I think yeah. there still is quite a lot of Irish influence around here but it, it has also become a little bit more Hispanic and it has sort of widened to different communities which is always a great thing of course. But today we want to explore the Irishness and also the connections that we used to have here because we used to stay mm -hmm. in Woodside when I came over to visit Paul before he moved to the UK. Now you might wonder, well, why Woodside? Was it just the Irish connection? <laughs> well, no, that actually came after the main reason we stayed here and it was because being a big tennis fan, Woodside is not that far away from Flushing Meadows and we used to go to the US Open for many years and we found a hotel, the Howard Johnson it was called back then, it's not anymore, but we used to stay there and it was quite handy to jump on the number seven train to head down to Flushing Meadows. Now it is quite noisy and that is because the seven train that I just mentioned is literally above, above our heads. Yes, that is the track right there. We're also meeting a friend here today that we haven't seen for some time, so come explore Woodside with us. Well, this isn't a great start. Saints and Sinners, which was one of the most popular bars, Irish bars in Woodside, has been sold. It has closed down. Any sign of life in there, Paul? No, I think it's been closed for some time. Yeah, it's got this bolt on here. So it looks as though it's been closed since 2019. But there are still lots of clues to its Irishness, and of course the name in Irish letters. But also, you can see the Guinness sign still hanging up there. We are heading to Donovan's, which again, a very Irish name and another Irish pub. But we used to visit lots of these yes. shops around here yeah. and restaurants as well and um, Chinese takeaway places because we used to eat a lot of the food back at the hotel. Didn't we also celebrate New Year's once? Oh yes, we did. Well, this looks as though it's a new bar and it's got some Irish bunting outside the beer keeper, I actually thought it said the beekeeper first of all, the beer keeper, and it is serving Guinness.
Well, this is a good sign. There are lights on outside. I think I can see lights inside as well. This is Donovan's Pub, one of the oldest probably in Woodside of the Irish bars, dating back to 1966. And this is where we are going to have a spot of lunch today. Maybe even a cheeky pint of Guinness. Ooh, wow. So we had a lovely meal at Donovan's and the lady, delicious. it was delicious and the lady who served us was from Belfast. I didn't pick up the accent first oh of all, my God, like she's she lived hit here, it really she well. Hit it well, she's lived here for 25 years she said and then she put the accent on and I recognised oh it. Oh my God, I, thought, I, I was kind of gobsmacked. Yeah, I, I, I thought there was a twang there but look what Paul got. Say it again. Train. Yeah, that's the number seven train. Look what Paul got. Turn it round. So you have been to Woodside and you got the t-shirt. Oh, yes I did. Now let's see what else there is to see here. Well, here we have another Irish bar and this one is still open. This is Sean Oggs. And I really do like the clock up there. You've got the Guinness Pelicans, which is a real classic Guinness ad. But if you go right up close in, it says opening time is Guinness time. Right, Paul? Let's have another. Yeah, this has changed. This, this is the one that I used to go into sometimes as well. What was this called? I can't remember. But at least it's still a, a bar or a pub. So it's a craft bar and kitchen wood lot. Well, things do change. Yeah, at least it's still here. Paul, look over there. Poyos Mario. Mario? <laughs> restaurant you know i remember us going there and ordering um chicken and beans with rice it was so tasty i mentioned that to you earlier then i you... forgot i needed to see the restaurant to spark the memory <laughs> sorry so we're heading towards what was the howard johnson the hojo hotel and it's about a 10 minute walk yes. from woodside itself but where we are now I can remember there used to be an advertising hoarding and what I think was it called? I always remember an ad for One Tree Hill. Oh right. The TV show which shows you how long ago it was. But I think we now have to cross over the L I R R track, to, is that right? We have to go down that bit that says stop Delhi. Stop and Delhi. Paul, it's been so long, we're going the wrong way. We didn't actually have to cross the bridge there. I remember crossing it. Well, maybe you, maybe you can go that way, but yeah. Oh, is it this way we go? It's down here, isn't it? Is it down here? Down this little side I street? I can't remember us crossing it. I always remember the, the houses mm. along here, they're all so 
so right. pretty, so so decorative, yes, and brick, because you get lots of like wooden houses you do, in the New York and the U.S. Show, show them that side. Those are multiple family occupancies. I think each family has like their own floor. Oh. But it's at this time of year as well, autumn, and mm -hmm. we're having a particularly warm day in New York. It's gone up to 20 Celsius today, which, which is, is great for of. November. Yeah. I wouldn't say unheard of. I've been here in November before when it's been warm, um, but the temperature is due to drop tomorrow. That's another thing. If you come to New York, temperature is very volatile. Yeah. So today it's 20. Tomorrow it's going to go down to about 12. Ooh. So it just shows you the difference. And that's why we're wearing our, our winter clothes and in I, preparation. And I only have one layer though. Ah, you'll have two layers tomorrow. Yes, I will. We're heading down to Queens Boulevard. Oh my God. Which is one of the, it's a main thoroughfare. Yes, and yes. away over there is a key food supermarket that we used to go to. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, that wasn't there before. No, it wasn't. But the BP petrol station certainly was. And that is where the old Hojo was, down there. Hojo was like down there, wasn't it? Yeah, so let's go. Well, it is called the Woodside Motel now, but it was the Hojo, the Howard Johnson, way back in the day, but it looks the same. 6509 Queens Boulevard. Let's just step in because a bus is coming. But yeah, this is where we stayed many, many times. and Up until I left. Yeah, up until 2006, I think. And um, there's the bus, by the way, if you didn't believe me. But they were really, really good rooms. And it was relatively cheap as well for New York. At the time. At the time, yes. So we're gonna head back into Woodside now because there's another couple of places that we need to take a look at. Well, one anyway. There's a, a shop that I used to go to that sold potato crisps. Now I wonder, is it still there and do they still sell them? Wow, it is such a hot day out right now. But I think I have a good idea for you to keep cool. You need to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's what all the cool kids do. They have like a bar down here, I remember. We're back in Woodside. And look, where it says Top Sal Salon. Wasn't that the Calzone place? Could have been. I think it was. And yes, there is another Irish bar, that red one over there. But first of all, I want to see if my yeah. little grocer store is still there and if it sells Tato. What do you think, Paul? Perhaps. So here we are, walking down. Oh, I see a shamrock. We sell Irish products. It's still there. I see Tato. I'm going to go inside and we'll see what I can get. What, Marcus? You were talking about bachelors the other day, look. Oh my God. Bachelors, more of that piece. Do you know what? I think I'm going to have to get these. Oh, sorry. Oh, look. They have those curry sauces. Yeah. But the piece de resistance, the tater. Oh, no, but it might be good. And the number one. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. I I can't get it because I have to get home. Huh. Brennan's bread? Oh my god. A temporary. Oh my god. <laughs> so what else are you getting? So I've got to get some potato onion rings. And do they have spring onion? Hunky dory. What about hunky dory? Coffee. No, I mean that's what the digestives are for. They're supposed to go they to the smooth. Oh, I don't think that's the trick, right? They sell that at home for us. I mean coffee, that's the trick, right? <laughs> they sell that, that is a popular brand. These are normally with tea. Yeah. I, yeah. The digestives are normally with tea. It's like a tea biscuit. Cookie, tea cookie. And those, those, those boxes. Oh, look, here we are, spring onion. Are you getting that? Celebrations. 
Are you actually buying them? Oh my god! Yes, I am buying them. Look, they sell curried beans. I'm not buying that. Are you? There's ten of snacks. Are you buying them too? You could even get Jesus. a Cadbury selection box. Oh my god! They are gonna get some money off you today. <laughs> Barry's tea. So, are you happy with your findings? Well, I've got my onion rings, my spring onion, smoky bacon, <gasps> tato, and some Mara fat peas. Christmas crackers. Yeah, but it's the fruity one. <gasps> Do you want to get that? <laughs> Do you want a snack for later? No. Look, they have Christmas puddings. Are you happy we came here? Yes. Oh my god. Are you going to buy a lot, Marcus? Yes? No? Look, they even have Marcus's breads. Yeah. Which, which is saying something. <gasps> Those things too. Yep. Club, Club Orange. It's not just a box of crisps, it's a Christmas box. Oh wow. 18 pack. Wow. True to word. Thank you. Have a nice day. I will. Look at this. What did you end up getting? So I got the Tato smoky bacon, Tato spring onion, Tato onion rings, club milk. I don't even see these anywhere. How Maybe much in they? Ireland. I think it was three ninety nine. And also, I got some bachelors no soak mara fat peas so we will make that these when we go home and we'll film that and i was really surprised at the cost because i was expecting this to be like really really uh -huh. expensive it was 10.50 that's not too bad so actually that's pretty good i'm not sure how much the crisps were but i could work it out but yeah uh -huh. really happy with this well just opposite the woodside grocery we've got the dog out sports bar which is another irish pub that we frequently went to did we i don't remember that one so a much. couple of times i'm sure we probably had some good Once. nights there maybe that's why i don't remember it and finally we're coming back down to the station but just on the other side is the stop in it's a diner and it was run back then by an irish family i'm not sure if it still is now maybe not but i'm glad to see that it is still there and that brings us to the end of this episode from Woodside. It is rather noisy here. And before the number seven train arrives again, Paul, you've got a message. Thanks for watching our show today. I know that you're liking it. So why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? It's Paul and Marcus. Just hit the subscribe button. And we also appreciate your likes and comments. So keep them coming. And we will see you next time for another episode from New York. Bye for now.